All right, we'll try a second gear. It's definitely not gonna hook. It's just gonna sound really cool. Wait till this tree passes. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video. And today, oh, ooh, it's a big day for me. After years of not having these wheels, these wheels have been broken for quite some time. Finally, today we get them remounted with some nice meat and that means that the Supra also gets some nice meat as well. Since we got it back from Dino, we're making probably more horsepower than the Mustang. That is still yet to be determined. They were dynoed on two different dynos. I'm placing my bets on the Supra, but in order to get a fair race, we need some meat on the Supra as well. So we got a big day, two cars, new wheel setups, very fun. I shouldn't necessarily say new because the wheels that we're putting on the Mustang, they're not new. They've just been broken for a long time. And finally, 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 we got the barrel to replace the broken one. Let me show you guys the wheels. We come around this way. Ooh! I mean, you guys have seen these before. These are the wheels that I used to have on the car. But years ago when I took the Supra to Supras in Vegas, on the way back, we got a flat. It popped and it actually broke the barrel. Um, I believe this wheel this wheel had a broken barrel and we could not find a part to replace it pretty much uh, These are like ESR's prototype for their three-piece bead locks All forged super lightweight love them like great 15 inch bead locks However, when the part broke their supplier had issues at their manufacturing plant due to like COVID and stuff that was going on So long story short, they were unable to supply it and I don't even think they're a business anymore so i've just been asking esr like almost monthly like hey any leads any leads any leads and nothing so i reached out to my other homie david who works at salinas tires that's actually where we're gonna be going right now to get the new tires mounted and he got me a barrel so i assembled them i siliconed them i did three things of silicone over the last three days gave them full 24 hours to dry she should be good to go this probably isn't a major surprise because on my Instagram I posted like a little ASMR cleaning video of it because it was super satisfying to get off all of that Nevada dirt that was on them from me going off-roading in the Supra. So the plan is ESR bead locks on the Mustang. Since we have the ESR three-piece fronts, it just obviously matches and makes sense. The welds then will go onto this car. However, obviously those tires are way too fat for this car. So I believe I have Radio Pros at my parents' house. We're gonna have to go pick up and they should fit on this car, but these tires will go onto the ESRs. So I gotta pull these wheels off. We gotta load them in the truck and then we gotta head out. I also don't know if the ESRs will fit on the Mustang. I might have to do some more chopping or some more modifying to make them fit because they barely fit with the welds. And if I remember correctly, the ESRs require a spacer, which I may or may not already have on the Mustang. I don't know. I'll find out when I pull these off right now, but there might be more modifying that we got to do. And I don't know if they'll fit on the Mustang or on the Supra either. So two very big questions we got to answer, um, both of which we will answer today. And then we will have some nice some nice fucking meat on both cars so uh yeah let me get started on this so no one cares to watch me pull off these wheels i'm not gonna bore you guys i'll just teleport them off let's just do it like this and there we go easy peasy so i'm already running a spacer i forgot that i was um it's just because i mean dude these are some thick ass boys i mean i don't think this car was envisioned with fitting a 315 under it it used to have a 325, but the 315 Radio Pro with what I've done to the suspension fits perfect. I mean, I've done a lot of chopping and hammering, but it, it fits, it fits. We don't got to talk about that. Uh, it still looks like I'm rubbing on something. Nothing horrible, though. Nothing that's making me worry about anything. I mean, that is kind of a little deep, bit of a deep groove. Uh, I guess we'll see. Because if the ESR stick out a little bit more, then, then this side might need a little modifying. I guess we'll just see. I don't really want to do it because there's spiders all under there because I don't drive the car too often, but... We got to do what we got to do. But anyways, I'm going to load these up, load up the ESRs, and we'll head out. All right, there they all go. These I'm just taking back to my parents because I don't need them here. They're just taking up space. The bead locks are in the back. God, I'm so happy I bought a truck. This would not be possible without the truck. We're also going off-roading next week, so we'll have a video on that. All right, so you guys can't see, but 
well yeah you guys definitely can't see we got the tires we're gonna head to the tire shop now i have so many wheels at my parents house if you guys want some of my old wheels just hit me up i have a lot i have stock mark IV super wheels i have like three sets of esrs if you guys are looking for some wheels in your local local to socal i have the old wrx esrs i have my old super esrs i have stock mclaren wheels stock um stock mark for super wheels I, I probably have more that i don't even know about but there's so much shit back there if you're interested just let me know anyways uh, we're gonna head out all right so we got the tires mounted we now have different tires on the welds and the big old meaty boys on the esr so uh we'll go ahead and we'll open this up let's look at them next to the cars all right so here they are and i always forget just how massive these tires are but look at the esr three-piece bead lock um this is the one that i got repaired or i got the replacement barrel for and just assembled here this one the center cap i have but the o-ring that like holds it in is rotted so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to to put the center cap on i'll figure something out and then we have the welds which will go on the supra i'm looking at them side by side let me move thank you side by side it's a little taller that's a good amount taller so hopefully i don't have to adjust the coil it might be close enough but i guess uh we'll see when we do that first things first though oh my god i almost just tripped on that first things first let's get the esrs on and hopefully everything clearances so i'm just gonna do this really quick off camera and i'll show you guys how it looks god they're so meaty i'm just i'm blown away by that they are so fat all right let's get it on All right, so not the best angle, but oh my god, I missed how that looked. That looks so good. Um, just to test that it's not rubbing on anything, which it very well might be. I'm oh my god, it's so fat. Just to test it, I'm gonna put down the handbrake and just spin the wheel. And if it's rubbing on the shock or anything on the inside, we'll know right away. If it's rubbing on this, we won't know till we lower down the vehicle. But one thing at a time. Car is up in the air, so not gonna roll anywhere come on is it in gear well that's not good okay so it is rubbing on the brake caliper you can see the line right there um not a big deal it used to rub on it and i had to grind it down but we got new brake pads between then and now so obviously that chunkied it up a little bit so all i have to do is find where it's rubbing which i'll just look at closely with a flashlight and just take my angle grinder to it and just gently grind it down now that might not fix every issue because once we clearance that it might be rubbing in here but one thing at a time okay so after a little grinding she seems to be good i might take a little bit more off just for a you know ease of mind and then i'll paint over what i grind it down but I don't hear anything. I'll have Brian assist me and get his judgment. He just pulled up. So uh, we'll see, but I don't hear shit. Unless it's, it's really faint, but yeah, I don't hear anything. I just hear brake noise. So that's good. They look good. They fit good. Nice and, I mean, not flush, but it's flush with about where the tread is up here. I don't think we're rubbing. I think we're good. We're also watching car crashes in the background, and of course there's an ad going right now, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue. We got to do the other side, but so far looking so good. All right, here we go. Installed, just not torqued. Same with the other side. We're gonna go to Lowe's right now and try to find an O-ring for the other center cap. But yeah, no rubbing at all. Great fitment. Looks super aggressive. We'll lower her down right now. Get the wheels torqued, and then uh, we're gonna go find a center cap. Put her on the ground. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, babe. It's enough to make a grown man cry. Damn. I gotta wipe off the wheel because it's a little dusty, but. Damn. Look at that meat. Really quickly, we're gonna test how they look, the, the welds that is, on the Supra and if they fit. We're not even sure they're gonna fit. 
We're gonna quickly test it before we go to Lowe's, but uh, <laughs> we gonna find out. Yeah, we'll, we'll place our bets. So we got a scale out. Um, we're gonna weigh the difference between the CCW and the Weld. So uh, I'm betting, nah, dude, that's like 35 pounds. I'm gonna say like 45. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. What is it? 60. It's 58. <laughs> Dude, I... Yeah, you're... It doesn't uh, feel like fucking... It's pretty heavy. It's kind of heavy, but it didn't feel like that heavy. I thought it... Yeah, it's wow, 60-pound wheels? And I was gapping foods with these? That's crazy. <laughs> this is definitely like a show car wheel, then. Let me see, yeah. 58.8. All right. I guess 60-pound wheels don't do anything on a 1,000-plus. Maybe that's why I was hooking. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. All right, let's move to the... Uh, Wow, that's that's 60. I'm going to say... Okay, I'm going to bet that like, this thing's going to be like 45 now. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to say they're like 38. 38? All right, I'm going to say... I'll say 40. Because it's a huge difference. It is? Oh, I, I, felt, I, I felt a huge difference. So, I mean, it's just awkward to pick up, but I guess I have to see. Jesus. It's only an 8 pound difference. Those things feel way heavier. I mean, 8 pounds is 8 pounds. And I mean, if you round up to eight, you might as well round up to 10. And 10, you're halfway to 20. So you round up to 20. But 20, no one says 20, so they go to 30. <laughs> and 30 is almost to 50, and at 50, you round up. So it's like a 100 pound difference right there. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. Only eight pounds, that's crazy. All right, well, Jesus. I thought it was gonna be a big difference, but. I mean, eight pounds is eight pounds. Eight times two is 16. 16 is pretty much 20, so no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 20, 20 pound dumbbell. Le moment of Let truth. down. How does she look? It's tucked. Oh. You need a spacer. <laughs> I don't need a spacer. It's a race car. We're going to see what the guys do. Uh, it's it, pretty much. I, mean, I have some camber. Yeah, I mean, you could. It almost seems like flesh, but not at this. If I got rid of some of the camber, would be good. Right, let's go drive it. Okay, so really quickly, Brian's never been in the Supra, so it's a perfect time to go take it for a test drive with the new tires. Make sure everything clears. We have it warming up, and then we'll move the McLaren and pull out the Mustang, so we can test that out as well. Obviously, the Mustang should be solid, should not rub. I guess we'll find out. I'm a little nervous about the super. I think we'll be good though. I think we'll be good. And it did. All right, so here's how it looks with the weld. And as you can see with its current ride height, it's like perfect. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, it just fills in the whole wheel well. I don't really want to raise it any more than that. I would just leave it as is. This way I can switch out the CCWs and the welds whenever I want. Uh, but, oh, we just bought valve caps and we didn't even put them on. We just bought valve caps because um, they forgot to put them on and they, yeah, well, we didn't put them on either, I guess. So, uh, but yeah, the car looks really good. Brian has not ridden in it yet, so he's in for a wild ride, but yeah, they look, they look really good. Tires are dirty because they're older tires, but uh, <laughs> they fit perfect. Hopefully, hopefully the compound is still good. I guess uh, we'll find out in about two minutes. All right, so we're going to try giving her the beans in first gear, maybe burn off some of that uh, dust that's accumulated. We're gonna do it on the on-ramp right here. Granted, the on-ramp hopefully isn't packed. If it is, then we're not gonna do it, so we'll just have to see. But we'll give her the beans, see what she's all about. Seems clear. So I guess let's find out. Ooh, on ramp is clear. Oh, doesn't hug. It, it didn't even come close to hugging. Wow. That actually surprised me. It didn't even feel like they spun though. I felt it. You felt it? To me, it just felt like we didn't move. Gotta knock off some more of that dirt apparently, but fuck, maybe these tires are just a little too old. Maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. But uh, I guess we'll see. We'll let the car continue to warm up. That, uh, <laughs> yeah, it didn't hook. <laughs> wasn't even close man all right we'll try a third gear that was first gear on ice cold tires so maybe third gear ease on to it a little bit might not be a bad idea yeah no. it's 
tires do not hook. How? I mean, I guess these are lighter, but I don't think eight pounds is that much lighter to make that much of a difference. It might just be the compound on these is kind of smoked. I mean, you did go from a 305 to a 285 and then the compound. 275. 275. Well, this is what all fast Supras run, though. That's the thing. It's a radial pro. When I was in Vegas, every, like, 1,000 horsepower Supra was on this exact spec tire. Maybe you just need to be different. <laughs> yeah, maybe. The CCWs, I guess. I mean... Or, it's, or it is just the compound. It could just be the compound. But this bitch just sideways immediately. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, we'll let him warm up a little bit more. We'll give him about five minutes. So we'll, we'll, we'll see in five minutes. All right. Take three. Same thing. Or should we try fourth? Go, go for fourth. Go for fourth? Yeah. yeah. I'll go for third. All right. They're probably glowing right now. Yeah, that was easing on to it just because I didn't want it to shoot sideways at fucking 60 miles an hour at a very safe speed. So, yeah. yeah, that, okay, well, it hooked better, but again, that is easing on to it. I still don't think many things, unless they're making a thousand horsepower as well, I don't think many things would be able to keep up, even if I ease on to it. So, yeah. felt pretty good. Or maybe the tires are getting warmer. I guess we could try, uh, we'll, we'll head back the other way. <clears throat> and we'll try a second gear. I don't think first gear will hook, but maybe they're warmer now. I don't know. We're also thinking that maybe it's a tire pressure issue. They're at 25 right now, which I thought would be okay. You know, it's about mid-range of airing out, but uh, maybe it wants like 22, 20. We'll see. But we'll head back that way. For shits and giggles, I'm going to hit a second gear right here. It's not going to hook, but... crazy the boat anchors they hook better like i'm technically faster with the boat anchor tires and wheels i might just have to put those back on and then just sell these there's not really a purpose to having these that's crazy i mean unless it is just a, a an old tire thing these tires literally sat in my parents backyard since what 2021 yeah, they're, old tires. they're old tires yeah i mean that's only two years old but i guess they could get dried out i don't know i'm not a tire guy I know very basics about tires. And they didn't in the rain. Our son did that. Yeah, yeah, they were in the rain, they were in the sun. When I picked up one of them, it was full of water today. So, but I was like, you know, they're just sitting back here. I might as well go, go test them. Um, at the very least, we can hit a really gnarly burnout on these. So, we just got to find a spot for that. All right, last pull we'll do is a fourth gear. I don't think it's, I think it's the compound. So, oh, that was fourth gear. Oops. All right, we'll just, I mean, full throttle, whatever. That's really sketch. Yeah, that was, I don't know why it felt so sketch. Just, it was like hopping or something. Getting gnarly wheel hop. It, it's gotta be the compound, because this is like what everyone runs on their Supra. So I don't get why it's not working for us. It's just gotta be the tires sitting outside for two years. Probably not the greatest move on my end. But um, I never thought I was going to use them again, to be fair. I, I genuinely never thought I was going to use them again. So now we're going to go get the Mustang and see how those work. All right, so those tires suck. Very bad idea. We're going to take the Mustang out now. Um, Brian will turn it on. But yeah, those, those tires probably won't be staying on there for too long. I mean, maybe it's a camber thing too. Maybe we have a little bit too much camber. So I'll probably put on the CCWs, get the alignment, and then put these back on and see where it's at. Because, uh, yeah, it is, it is a little bit too much camber. It's a little stanced out. It looks sick, though. But, uh, anyways, um, Brian, turn her on. Start your engines. <laughs> Keep her alive, buddy. Keep her alive. You failed. start on this one this one's on 91 so it should start right up see how she sounds
I was getting the tide just scanning there. So yeah, well, we're gonna flip these around and then we're gonna head out. All right, here's the monster herself. So this is the one with the missing center cap. Still just, ah, oh, the hardware. All of the polish that I did looks so good. Super happy with that. Sounds absolutely meaty. And then here's the other side with the center cap. Looks great. I've missed these wheels for so long. One thing I do want to do is obviously these have machined edges. I want to replicate that up here, but I don't know how to go about that. I don't know if I should just take some sandpaper to it and do it myself or completely disassemble the wheel and bring it to ESR. I don't really want to do the second one. Maybe I'll just take some sandpaper to it and make it work, but uh, yeah, because then it would match way better. Those are obviously super dirty up front too. But look at that. Oh, it looks so good. So aggressive. I've missed this. I've missed this a lot. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you guys prefer the ESR three-piece beadlock or the monoblock weld? The weld is just, I like it. It works, it's great. It's readily available. It's just kind of basic, everyone has that. These I had custom made. They obviously match the fronts, so these make sense in my opinion. And that shit just looks hard, <laughs> that looks super hard. So yeah, we'll go uh, test them out, make sure it doesn't rub. I think we're good to go though, I think they'll be solid. All right, we'll try a second gear, it's definitely not gonna hug. It's just gonna sound really cool. Wait till this tree passes. a little bit once we kind of got into it it hooked with my throttle it's all or nothing so i tried to pedal it and it shut itself so i had to give it all the beans and i gave it all the beans and it it, it kind of worked it kind of worked kind of nice we well, can try another one right here um it's kind of traffic hours so we're not going to do anything too stupid but we'll, we'll try to do like one or two more if we have room for it i just i don't know if we will there's a lot of cars around so trying to stay out of jail Oh, dude, there's so many, like, I'm so nervous about, like, oncoming traffic that one of them's going to be a cop. With my luck, it's just going to be like that. So we'll wait until after this intersection. The Mexico streets, man, it's really busy right now. And they're fucked up. Since we're only doing second gear, we're not really, like, breaking the law. Because um, we're, not, we're not gaining speed, really. Like, we're not hooking, so. And I think my second gear ends at, like, maybe 50 so 50 miles an hour sounds about right sounds about right so you know maybe five five miles an hour over but not much you know still have plenty of control of the vehicle all right this road really sucks right here but then it, it opens up a little bit we'll just see if it hooks in second Banging off red line casually, just had 8,000 RPM. Yeah, it didn't work. All right, well, it, it just might not be the night tonight to test out the Mustang. It's no biggie, so I'll just I'll see you guys at home. Damn, rocks everywhere. All right, guys, well, we made it back. Obviously, the Mustang, we knew what to expect, although I do think it helped hook a little bit better. I don't know if it's just because since we have the beadlock now, maybe the tire isn't trying to move around around the wheel. Maybe I had that issue before. What really surprised me, though, is the lack of traction on the Supra. I do think it could be a slight camber issue or a tire issue or a combination of both. So... Um, I'll throw these on, go get an alignment. These have been needing an alignment. It's not like the car's been pulling or anything, but I haven't had an alignment since I had my ESR AP6s. And when I got these, I lowered down the car a little bit more. So cars definitely do for an alignment. We'll get an alignment. We'll get rid of some of the camera in the rear because, I mean, you could see the wheel do be tilted. Like, it do be tilted. I don't, I don't know if you guys could tell on camera, but it looks like I got maybe negative 1.5, negative 2 degrees in the rear. Maybe a little bit more. And that's not gonna help with traction. So uh, for now, I'll rock the CCWs. This does kind of confirm that uh, the Mustang and the Supra are due for a race. Since the CCWs are the best bet of traction at the current moment, we're gonna toss those back on and I'll have to schedule a date with someone that I trust driving one of my cars. Either that or I'm just gonna have to buy a draggy and just virtually race them, but that's fucking whack. So I don't think we're going to do that. I think I'm going to just see if Eric trusts himself in in this or in the other one. I'll have to see because both are, are, are animals. They're both animals. I think I'll have to drive the Supra. So I just got to find someone 
ballsy enough to handle the Mustang, and that's not an easy task. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. More mods coming. Um, I actually have Honda parts on the way, so we're going to be finishing that up ASAP. And then I have something big coming for the McLaren. It's just the start of something, I will say. It, it, isn't, it isn't like a huge... You'll see. I guess we'll just... No more teasers on that. Anyways, let me know if you liked it. Let me know which wheel setup is your favorite. Subscribe, and until next video, peace.